hey guys welcome back to my channel and a warm welcome welcome if you're new honey today we're going to talk about some breaking news a florida bodybuilder is being accused of incinerating his ex-wife in the backyard what what the fuck yeah um what the f indeed so if you're ready to get into this crazy story just stay tuned a Florida bodybuilder has been charged with the gruesome death of his ex-wife this week after being accused of incinerating her body in a backyard. 43-year-old Ian Christopher Bonac, a former Marine, was arraigned on Monday on a first-degree murder charge in the death of Katie Bonac. The last time Katie was seen alive was on September 29th when a friend claimed that she said she intended to go to Ian's to get some of her things. However, she never returned. <gasps> because of this, police went to Ian's house the next day where they discovered Katie's car parked outside, but he refused to let them in. Once officers revisited the residence with a warrant, Katie's car was gone. Once cops were able to make it inside of Ian's homes, the detectives said that they noticed signs of a struggle and evidence of blood stains. Officers also said that they found an AR-15 upper receiver and 13 silencers, a Glock Model 27, .40 caliber pistol inside a plastic bag on a bookshelf inside of a safe. Katie's engagement ring and wedding ring were there as well. Um, now I'm pretty confused as to why her wedding rings are in a box that, um, some guns are also in. What it seems like to me is that he put them in there along with the murder weapon, which if you watch true crime, that's just the dumbest thing you could possibly do. Like, come on now, man. Now this is when it starts to get sticky, y'all. So shh, shh. The detectives say that they found human remains outside of Ian's home including a jawbone with the tooth still intact in a fresh burn pile that smelled like flesh, according to documents. And also, it was near a 50-gallon barrel that could have been used for mm, whatever reason. The bodybuilder is still sticking to his story, though, and he's claiming that he never killed her and that she ended up disappearing. However, he did admit that the two got into an argument over another woman. Mm. I don't really believe that, though. I don't really think the argument was about a woman. I think it was about a man. And I'm going to tell you why. But just give me one second. So, no, I don't know these people from a can of paint. But I am a woman. And I do have common sense. I feel like if the argument was truly about a woman, then she would have been the aggressor. She would have been the one who was most upset. Because she's like, oh, my God, you know, da -da -da, you're dealing with this. You're dealing with, oh, da 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 and um, obviously that's not the case because he's still alive, he's fine, he has suffered no injuries. However, if this conversation was about a man and this man finally realized that his wife was done with him, his wife didn't want nothing to do with him, there are toxic men in the world who use the statement, if I can't have you, nobody will. So what I feel like the conversation um, consisted of was basically her really leaving and he was like you really gonna leave like you really done and she was probably told him yes i already have a new boo i already have another man i'm good <laughs> that statement alone is enough to send a immature and fragile man into an uncontrollable rage i've seen it firsthand personally i know so mm, yeah that's what i really think, think happened Ian was, in fact, taken into custody two days after Katie's death and was charged with first-degree premeditated murder, destruction slash concealment of physical evidence, and cremating a dead body. Ian pled not guilty to the charges in Tampa court this week. Now, last month, Katie filed for a restraining order against Ian after accusing him of abusing one of their children. Ian was also arrested on charges of domestic battery by strangulation in November 2021. You see, see, I knew I didn't believe that story about, oh, um, we argued about a woman. No, I knew it wasn't like that's not true because this man has proven himself time and time again to be the aggressor. And like I said, if it was an argument about a woman like him dealing with another woman, she would have been the one that's most upset. Not him. And his big old strong self, I know he knows how to restrain an angry woman. Like, look at the big old muscles. His big old fat block head. <laughs> All he got to do is headbutt her one time. She'll be fine. She'll calm the hell down. But no, it was because it was over a man or 
scratch this. Maybe it wasn't even over a man. Maybe it was just a simple fact that she was really getting her things and leaving. And that was the point that he realized, wow, she's really done with me. If no, if I can't have her, nobody can. And that was the decision that he made as fucked up as it may be. So y'all, first of all, my prayers are going up for those kids because those are the people who are going to suffer the most in this situation. But most importantly, I need y'all to put y'all thoughts down here because this is ridiculous. Like, I'm, uh-uh. Ladies, just please stay strapped. Like, for real, just just stay strapped because even people that you love and that you care about could hurt you. And that's so messed up to think about, but it's true. So, yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell. That way you're notified every time I post. And in the meantime, y'all bet not be out here being on your wife and kids. Like, for real. I don't condone violence, but if I find it out that y'all are doing these things, we gon' find you. We gon' find you, okay? Like, quit playing. Okay, love you. Bye.